Okay, so I'll get everybody to open up their software again and turn on your device. So just a nice function of this software is I can open my software, it's gonna pair my device straight away and I can get an ECG and a report very, very quickly, okay? So it's been about 25 to 30 seconds from me turning my device on, opening my software, it pairing to the software, and then me being able to click report and get an ECG report straight away. Okay, so we'll notice up here that we don't have any patient information at the moment. So I wanna sign an ID to my test report, okay? So there's a number of ways that I can do that on the home screen. You might've already noticed that by now, but there's an ID button here and there's an ID button up top left. They're both gonna act as the same thing, okay? So that was the ID button on the right-hand side. And this is the ID button up on the top left-hand side, okay? So I'm going to say Stark Med, okay? Name Stark Med. I can assign a gender if I want. I'll enter a bunch of dummy data. I can assign a race if I want clinical information. I can enter all of this if, into my test report if I want to. Okay, all this personal information, completely up to you guys. So I'm gonna hit okay. That's gonna save to my patient now if I notice up top here, Stark Med, and I'm gonna hit auto again. And now all of the information that I saved before is going to be added and saved to my patient. Okay, so. We're gonna back out of this. Remember your device will turn off. We're gonna turn that one back on again. Okay, and I'm gonna open this. So this may happen to you guys and we've got our first patient of the day and we're noticing that we haven't assigned any ID to our patient, okay? So again, a nice feature, I can turn my device on, turn my software on, they're gonna pair automatically, and within 10 seconds of opening my software, I can get a report. And I've gone, oh no, I haven't assigned any patient information up here. So I can click on this leader ID button, and I can add my information after my test. Okay, save this. 90, okay and test saved, okay? So you might be saying to yourself, I don't like three by four by one, I like three by four by three, but how do I save this, okay? So there's a number of ways that we can add and save multiple tests, okay? So if I wanted the 12 by one snapshot and I wanted to save that within the printout, or within the saved test report, sorry. I can hit this save button down here and it's gonna say test saved. Okay, six by two. If I hit save again, it's gonna save. But I wanna make this layout and this layout on screen a standard across all of my reports. And I wanna make my home screen a standard too. Okay, so you notice it's six by six. Okay, and I've got all of these functions here. My rhythm lead is V2, okay. So I'm gonna change this right now. So top right hand corner and settings. So this is the device we paired earlier. This is how long it's gonna take my HD unit to turn off automatically, okay. But if I turn the software off, it's gonna power off itself, okay. My AC filter, sampling rates, all of this I'm gonna keep relatively the same. I'm just gonna change the rhythm lead. And I, for this demonstration, wanna change it to lead two. So I'm gonna hit save. Setting save successfully. I'm gonna go across to my ECG now. Okay, I'm gonna keep this relatively the same, but this is where we can come in and change this and make this a standard. So rather than clicking through everything and making sure everything's the way that you wanted to view it, we can make it a standard within these setting tabs here. Okay, 
So I'm going to keep my algorithms on. So within my manual look, I'm going to change this to 12 by 1. I'm going to keep this the same. Okay, and I'm going to save this. Now, our printouts were in the auto tab. So, again, I'm going to change this to lead two. If I had three by four by three, these are the other rhythm leads that I would see on that test report. Okay, but I'm going to keep it three by four by one. Just showing you guys where we can come in and customize everything. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And I'm going to back out. So now on my home screen, I've got 12 by one. My rhythm lead is now lead two. Okay, I'm gonna hit auto. And now this is changed to lead two, not V2. All of my settings are now saved as a standard. So all of these tests that have been saved so far are going to sit in the archive. So top right hand corner, the folder and all of the tests that we've done so far are going to be saved in the archive and you'll notice okay that we've got not confirmed reports okay so there's a number of ways we can do that okay I can come in and look at old reports and I'm going to look at this one from months ago that wasn't confirmed and I'm going to come up the top and in my interpretation tab, okay, which is the Glasgow interpretation software that comes as a standard with this device and all Cardioline purchases, okay, it's going to provide me with an interpretive rhythm. I can come in and change that to borderline or abnormal or normal, whatever I want, okay. Your report notes, okay, can be very lengthy. Okay, you'll notice just how long we can create our report if we want to. Okay, you can write a novel in here. Completely up to you guys on what you want to do. Okay, but report, I'm going to sign off and say Dr. Stark. Okay, okay. And now it's confirmed and reported on by Dr. Stark. I'm going to back out. And within my patient now confirmed. All right. Or we can confirm it as we go. Okay. So once I've got my 10 second rhythm, I can click auto. And from here, if I'm happy with all of this and what's been interpreted. I'm going to go ahead and go that's normal, normal report, Dr. Stark. Okay, confirmed and done. Okay, test saved. Go back into my archive just to double check. And Stark Medical confirmed. Okay. So there are a number of ways that you can confirm and sign off on reports. You can do them live, you can do them post, completely up to you guys. If you haven't done them, you just need to go into your patient archive, okay, and sign off on your reports. So you're probably saying to yourself, I want this report as a PDF export and I want to put it into a patient management software. Okay, in this video, I'm going to take you through the PDF exporting option. Okay, I'm not going to take you through the patient integration software. Okay, Scott's going to take us through all of that in just a little bit. Okay, so we'll notice that in the other tab, oh, got to go to my settings tab, settings, in this other tab here, we've got a number of options here. Now, I already have mine set up, but I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? So at the moment, we didn't have PDF automatic exports on, okay? Yours is probably off. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit on, and we're going to save that, okay? And I'm going to back out of this. I'm going to assign a new folder, 
on my home screen. So at the moment, mine's set up to this folder here. Okay, but if I hit Control, Shift, and N, I'm going to create a new folder that is called new, oh, new underscore PDF exports. Okay, so that folder is saved on my home screen. I'm going to go back into my software. And once the software opens up, I'm going to go into the settings tab. And you guys have probably noticed that in the background of everything that you're doing, your Touch ECG is going to continue to monitor the patient. Okay, so I can assign ID in here and click OK. And it's still monitoring. And then I can go into my settings tab. And I can click through here and make sure all my settings are all good. Okay, I can save those and go back out. And we're still monitoring. Okay. That monitoring strip is going to last you half an hour. Okay, which is a very nice feature of this device. So not only is it a resting ECG option, but we can also use it as a monitor for our patients too. Okay, so back to our PDF exporting format. You'll notice PDF underscore touch ECG. So that folder that we just created, if you click these three buttons here, and we'll notice new underscore PDF underscore exports, which is the one that I just created in my desktop. Yeah, and I'm going to click and highlight that one and go OK. That's now saved. I'm going to save that. Okay, settings saved successfully. I'm going to back out. Again, it's been monitoring the whole time. I'm going to go ahead and click auto. Okay, and you'll notice that in the back end of that, I'll show you down here. Desktop, new PDF exports. And now I've got all of my tests saving as I go and then I can click and highlight this and I can drag and drop that to the assigned patient in my patient management software okay which is a nice easy way to do it that's going to be cost effective for you guys